it's the Honda ATC 125 three years later so today we're gonna get the three-wheeler going again um, it has a gnarly oil leak right here for some reason it's getting really pressurized in the crankcase so we're gonna try and clean the uh, crankcase ventilation and the shifter is just going on it we're gonna have to do something with that but um yeah we're gonna go for a ride today too even if we don't get that shifter fixed but first things first we're gonna have to find the uh crankcase ventilation so if you guys don't know i got this thing when i was like 14 or 15 and now i'm almost 19. um we're coming up on four years owning this thing I did a post yesterday asking if you guys wanted to see the three-wheeler. Everybody seemed to kind of like the idea, so we're going to go ahead and get it going again. Now, I haven't rode this thing in over two years. Um, it did have non-ethanol in it, which was almost out, but I put gas in it, and it did fire up yesterday. The tank is still nice inside. If you guys don't remember, this thing was really rusty when I got it on the inside. Also got a pretty nice blister on my hand from pull starting it yesterday because if you don't remember the uh, the electric starters burned up so I don't even keep a battery in it. We have a mouse nest in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this filter out and get that out. But when I say oil leak it's leaking from behind the cover right here. The oil is good and soaked and a rope. So hopefully it's just the uh, crankcase ventilation. It was pretty gnarly right there. Um, don't see anything in the air box though, so I'm just gonna clean this out and move up here till I find the crankcase ventilation. I do believe that we found the issue. This is the uh, crankcase ventilation tube, which you see is obviously plugged. So we're gonna go ahead and get this cleaned out and shove it back on. Well, got that blew out really good with the air compressor. I'm not sure where I sat it, but it is clean. Now we are going to try and fix the shifter which you can shift up, but when you go to go down, the peg's in the way, so. I've already tried to tighten this bolt once. We might just try and go for the temporary universal shifter for now. But first, I gotta find that line and stick it back on. And let's not forget the fresh sticker located right here on the front fender. Oil is full. Um, you can see where it's pushing out of the dipstick too, so. Even got some stuff on the spark plug. So if our seals are still intact, that would be a true miracle. Before I ride it, I am gonna pressure wash it because I'm not trying to ruin these pants that bad. But this thing's already dirty enough to work on. But I may in the future strip the frame down and paint all of this. If you guys would like to see that, comment below. Um, but for now, we're gonna get the shifter took off. Shifter is rigged for now. Not sure how long it's going to last, but your guess is as good as mine. Now, all I want to do is adjust the chain. I'm going to pressure wash it and get all the oil off of the pull starter. All the oil out from under it and the oil off of the fender. Well, I believe it's a good time for a quick shred on the three-wheeler. We're going to go ride some of the trails here at the house. So, let's do it. Uh, try not to get stuck, but it's all spun out from my day for me earlier, so. Alright, that way. 
Oh, they want to taste it. All right. Too lazy. And they got fence up over there. It's now six o'clock. I started riding at 11, I think. You didn't see all the footage, but I just took some of the highlights out. There's not much out here to ride on, so that was pretty much it. Just kept doing circles, cutting some new trails today. So what do you guys want to see me do with this next? We're not gonna sell it, so I guess I'm gonna shove it back in the garage and well, I'm gonna pressure wash it again first. I know it's pretty useless to pressure wash it earlier, but it's such a cool machine to be 35 years old it just runs like it's brand new i've never seen anything like it um if i do anything to it i do want to get the new back plastics and a seat cover probably paint the gas tank paint the forks it's still got the factory grips on the handlebars everything's like like factory on it so except that awesome sticker right there but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull the plastics back off and pressure wash it again and i'll see you guys next video one more thing before we go I do love how the plastic comes off of the thing. That is like the coolest thing ever to me because you have all the stuff you can just instantly clean. And I think that's like the coolest thing ever. You know, you got all this dirt right here, sand. Just pressure wash it off and put your body back on.